to do anyway. Like it or not, we're going to be doing it. Don't like it, go date something else. Go date someone on your level. Okay? That's just how it is. That's always how it's going to be. And that's the best I can tell you. I don't debate. I don't argue. No facts. I don't answer no questions. I don't lower no standards. That's for Pete Misha and him. That ain't me, baby. If you can't stay in the heat, get up out the kitchen. We're not going to lower our standards. We're not going to even reason with you. We say what we say it, and that's it. You can't meet the standards by pass. Period. Okay? So we don't debate over here. We said what we said. If you can't comprehend it, come back when you can. <laughs> we need you to pay for everything. We need you to chase. We need you to act masculine. Period. If you can't do all those things, then I'm sorry. That's that's how it's going to be. I'm not debating any man. I'm a woman. I don't debate men. <laughs> okay. So you're not going to get me on on YouTube, you know, debating a grown man when what I say is in natural order. Okay, you're not gonna get me to do that. Thank you, Brianna Flex, Sprinkle Sprinkle. Thank you for everything. This is the last time. This is uh, this time last year, I was dating wrong, and now I have a sugar daddy, and he takes good care of me, and I don't have to work anymore. I truly appreciate you, girl. Go ahead, sprinkle, sprinkle. Get your get your sugar daddy money. I bet you are nice and relaxed, less stressed, have more time for yourself, and all the things you want to do, right? Mhm. Mm so, um. Yeah, that's yes go ahead <laughs> do you have to create fake scenarios to get gifts or are there other methods well if you pick the right target you're gonna get gifts period you gotta work extra hard you might have to you know this i always tell people you're picking the wrong target if you have put in too much work. Thank you, Tiara. This is um, the color Siren in my Level Up Cosmetics Entanglement Collection. You should go get it. The links are below. Uh, Level Up US. Um, thank you. My best revenge story is uh, leveling up to where I uh, saw my old clothes who I used to uh, not like. <laughs> they didn't like me um, in a very uh, nice position sitting with the upper crust while they were a laboring way the advantage of paper always okay always your position and your paper is your best revenge always mm -hmm. uh huh pick the right target and they get mad like they hurt like they will hurt or harm if you give it up they'll get mad girl what where are you finding these targets what side of town you on girl why do the why do they act like women aren't raised with provider provider fathers some of us aren't are still around and I don't know I don't know why. Billy, Mile, Bill, I don't know. They act because they don't know what it looks like, I guess. They didn't have one. I don't know. <laughs> you started a man who wants to be dominated, and he sent me $500 within five minutes. Good for you. Get your money, girl. <laughs> Shira. Your hair looks great. Thank you. Um, is the psychology of men wanting to be us? Did she explain that? Yeah. They want you to chase them. Any man that wants you to chase wants to be the one. 
So stay away from those because they are like too feminine. You know? and you're not gonna end well. And you're gonna be more masculine in the end. Okay. What if he wants to be you and give you money without sleep? That's too long of a question. <laughs> We'll take the money and be happy. That's all I can tell you. You we'll take the money and be happy. Thank you, Google user. Love you, Shira. Saw the real life ex of your video. He'll live. He'll leave in 15 years as a 23 year old. I'm still shocked by how a man can give up and leave after that amount of time, especially since men are always always mention loyalty. The first thing they mention is the first lie they tell. You have to understand. When a man talks about, I like a woman who tells the truth and who's loyal, that means I lie and I'm not loyal as a man. That's what they, that's what it means. When they want you to be something, that's what they're not. Because that's the psychology. That's the psychology. I'm going to pretend like I'm all for loyalty and truth when that's so that when I cheat and I say something, that's a lie. You're going to believe me because I claimed to be about it. So that's why I always claim to be about it before they can claim to be about it. So that whenever I lie and come up with something, I'm about that loyalty and I'm about that truth. And I don't deal with people who don't tell the truth. And I don't deal with people who are not loyal, even though I'm going to lie to your face for about 30 minutes um, on this date. I'm about this truth. Okay. So, that's how you set it up, baby. You lie after telling them you about the period. That's how they can do it. And most people don't understand that's the setup. If they have to, if they have to emphasize that, it means red alert, red alert. I'm finna lie to your face every time I see you. Red alert. I'm about that truth, which means I'm about that lie. Red alert. Mm -hmm. I ain't room for playing no games. I'm, a, I'm about the truth, okay? Let's see what good truth we can make up. Okay, so whenever you hear that line, you know what that means. Um, What's going on, fellas? Ferocious MGTOW here. And I am not rolling, rolling, rolling today. I'm off. Um, just chilling, getting ready to probably go to the gym, uh, probably hit the the laundry mat so I can wash up my clothes for the week. I've already washed my dishes. So I already did my paperwork. So I'm gonna hit the gym and uh, wash up my clothes and um, maybe I'll locate my barber. But I'll be just scrolling through these YouTube streets and um i said i was gonna start doing a little bit more reaction videos because i know uh we just be sitting around and we just be chopping it up as we on the road and we be moving around the the u.s uh through these highways and byways and we just be chopping it up and going back and forth off experience and just things that we notice as men but i want to start doing these reaction videos for these females and just let you hear them talk in their own voice how they really think. So I showed you all that little five minute clip and I didn't stop it because I just want you all to just hear this is what they're telling each other. Now, this woman here has over 100,000 subscribers and she's clearly at the wall, okay? Um. And she is advising her subscribers basically how to lie, cheat, steal, and manipulate um, the relationships between men and women. And this is what we're dealing with out there, fellas. They're looking to lie, cheat, steal, manipulate, um... If you all think about what she was saying about targets, you're not men, you're not human beings, you're not um, you're not vice jarrets, vice royals, you're not uh, uh, 
you, you don't have the dominion that God gave you over the planet. You are considered a target. Okay, listen to the choice of words. Target. Okay, where are you getting these targets from? You know, what side of town are you uh, uh, finding these targets? Okay, and then the woman asks the question, uh, do I need to make up fake scenarios? All right, i.e. Uh, emergencies that's going to require the man to shell out money to fix said emergencies okay so if you see if you guys run into the, the guys that, that are dating or even pumping and dumping or just interacting with women dating you know a few dates and and, and hitting it and quitting it and um women start coming to you with these put out the fire scenarios okay um now you know what to say now you know how to deal with that you know what i mean now I've, I've had this happen to me but if it wasn't much that the woman was asking, I would give it just so I can prove myself right. Because I remember back in the day when I had my little, my little uh, convenience store, I had a young lady I was talking to and she was like mm, 22. I might have been 45 or 40, something like that, 46. And um, within the first couple of days, she called. And like, hey, I need some money for, for Pampers because she was a single mother. But she only had one child, but she was a bad little 22-year-old. So I'm like, well, I'll be willing to deal with her because she got one child. And supposedly the the, the father was uh <clears throat> in prison. So I was going to, you know, just hit it and quit it. I wasn't trying to wife her up. I wasn't trying to fall in love. So she called me up. The baby don't have no Pampers. She did tell me that the man was in jail. So I'm like... All right, Pampers don't cost for 10 bucks. So let me give her this $10 just to see, you know, how she behaves once she gets it. I gave it to her. And of course, she did what I thought she would do. Uh, she stopped calling. So it wasn't no sweat off my back. It gave me time to, to realize what kind of woman she was. And of course, as fate would have it, I saw her in the future, you know, and of course, she was down and out. Shoes all dirty, um, hair uh, dis dis disheveled. Um, my screen is so dirty. There we go. I guess because I be touching that screen all the time. Um, so hey, I just kept going further and further up because I'm gonna always be on my grind as a man because I understand as a man, nobody's gonna give me nothing. Now these women sit around here. Post wall talking about leveling up, talking about targets, talking about fake scenarios, talking about um, lying to your face. Right. When you come to her and tell her when, when she asks you what kind of woman you're looking for and you tell her I'm looking for a loyal. Uh, cooperative, submissive. And faithful woman. Uh we not lying when we ask for that or, or or we're not lying when we say that's what we want that is exactly what we want and what we do is we hear women say yeah that you all of that but then we're gonna look for clues and when you start exhibiting that you're not these things that's when we just start wandering we don't wander initially if we if we if we get with you uh on a dating scenario and we're liking what we're seeing and we're liking liking you uh as far as the outward appearance so now we got to get to know the inside you now we might like what we see on the outside you know but that's only half the battle we still got to like the inner beauty right and if you say that you're a loyal woman you're a faithful woman you're submissive you're a cooperative woman and then we start hearing things or see you doing things that contradict that then of course we're gonna stray of course we're gonna stop chasing other skirts or or flirting with other women or you know what i mean but we say these things because we really truly want this type of woman and when we see you uh doing contradictory things guess what all bets are off now so she's saying that we just ask for these things and that we're full of shit when we ask for these things 
And we have no intention on being loyal ourselves. We have no intention on being cooperative. We have no intention on being uh, uh, demanding in a relationship and wanting and being faithful in a relationship because we just lying about those things that she should lie about them first because uh, we're lying. So she should lie about it first to make us think that she is these things. And then, of course, she don't realize that we're smart enough to realize if you say that you these things and you start making statements or we start seeing actions that's contradictory to that, guess what? We're going to make adjustments. See, that's what she's not adding, right? So this is your level up women out here, okay? They're all about hypergamy. Pay your bills, girl. Oh, he, he paid your credit card off? Great. Why are you paying? Uh, why would a guy be paying a woman's credit card bills when chances are she took that credit card and ran it up buying shoes, purses, and makeup? And, and 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 fake hair. That's not a good. Uh, uh, that's not a good way to spend money, to pay credit cards off for miscellaneous stuff, right? How are you gonna build a legacy? See, these women just want to basically steal and rob and manipulate you out of your cash. That's what it basically comes down to. They got to lie. If they got to steal, if they got to cheat, they got to make up fake scenarios. Uh, if they got to sell themselves to the highest bidder, they're willing to do whatever it take. And the reason why they're able to, they want to do these things is so they can get on here or get in some circle of other women and say what they did and how they got over and how they finessed the man. So they sit around each other and, 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 tell their finesse story and who has the best finesse who was able to finesse the man out of the most who was able to get vacation who was to get jewelry who was to get their credit card paid their student loan uh paid get their car uh car payment one lady said oh i i told him a story then he sent me five hundred dollars in five minutes so these women are just a lie and, and and play on play on the, the, the good nature of hard working men just so they can get on a situation like this, a stream like this, and brag about how they lied and got you to send five hundred dollars to them on a lie. And you're working hard because nobody give me in anything. So I'm gonna start doing more reactions like this, fellas just so these women can just put their foot in their own mouth. I'm not going to be stopping it. I'm going to give them these five minutes. I'm going to look through their videos, and I'm going to see what, what all the fuckery, when they get to talking about the real fuckery on how they really feel and the things they're really uh, um, setting out to accomplish. I'm going to give five minutes, and let them tell their own story, and then I'm going to come back and follow up with my commentary just so you can see it ain't us men making up stuff. Here's a modern day woman. Right? And women are donating heavily doing this stream. Every two, three minutes, she's saying thank you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That sprinkle, sprinkle means that somebody's putting money in her cash app. These women are supporting heavily female fuckery. This is what we up against. So, it's just amazing, fam. Just amazing. This is what we're really dealing with. That's why you have to have red pill uh, daily. You got to take your red pills daily. So you can be abreast on how to deal with these women. See, I'm a hands-off type of guy too. You know what I mean? And I float in and out of being MGTOW monk. And being a pumper and dumper. I'm mostly MGTOW monk. Because I can go. Hell I done went what? Years. Seven months here. Eight months there. A year here. 16 months here. And then when I do get into a, a entanglement. With some strag. 
it don't last long because I get her to reveal herself early. See, I know how to trigger her early. I know what to say. I know the, the delivery I need. Sometimes I'm real forceful to trigger them just so I can see what I want to see. Then I ghost them. You're not going to be stringing me along. And if I do take them somewhere, I use a Tom Likas, you know, under $40 uh, for a date. And the reason why I do that is because I like going out. I like going to restaurants. I like, uh, uh, as they call it, being a foodie. I go to when the new restaurant open up here in Chicago, and it's a new vegan spot, and it's and it's got rave reviews. Hey, I want to go, and a lot of times I don't want to go by myself. So yeah, I treat a strag to go with me, but I'm not gonna spend over forty bucks. Bet you that. And I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going to have conversation. I'm going to be seen. I'm going to talk to the people at the place. Become a, I'm going to become a regular. More like if the food is good, I'll be a regular there. People will know me. I usually tip pretty well. And then more likely, more more than likely, I'll be going back to, to these places by myself. So, where I look at no harm, no foul. And in most of, in most cases, I'll be going by myself. Every now and then, I'll take somebody, but mostly I go by myself, which is fine with me. And I'll be talking to people and, and that type of thing. Excuse me, while I'm there. You know, normally I go to the farmers market. I had intentions on going to the farmers market yesterday when I got back in town, but it rained all all day in Chicago yesterday, so I couldn't go to the farmers market. I, I go to the farmers market, and um. Talk to the different growers because remember I'm trying to get into the to the organic growing when I get my land. So, you know, I used to go and talk to the farmers, but you know, now I'm gonna start doing it again. I couldn't get there because it rained all day yesterday. So next time I get a Saturday, you know, in and around Chicago, I'll make sure I attend the farmers market so I can get back in touch with these farmers and start, you know, gaining free knowledge because they don't mind helping a person. You know, but I just want to bring you reaction, guys. Just let these women talk for for themselves, just so y'all can see. She is literally advocating to lie, basically cheat and steal. And these are the type of women that, are, you know, abort your baby. Right. Or say she's pregnant and then get you all in a panic and then say well, she don't want to keep it and get you to give her abortion money and then don't uh, uh was never pregnant all these little scenarios be working working and this is what they all use see this they sit on here and tell each other all this stuff and and rightfully so we need to be on here pointing it all out and letting the women put their own foot in their collective mouths because you got a hundred and some thousand women here agreeing with this heifer it's okay to lie to men it's okay to look at men as targets. It's okay to uh, to want their money. It's okay not to give them uh, loyalty. It's okay not to be faithful to them. It's okay um, not to be submissive. It's okay not to be cooperative. This is what she's saying. It's okay. Level up. It's okay, guys. I just wanted to bring y'all a quick one. I'm going to start doing more of these reactions. Because we need to make sure that we let the world see what these women are actually saying. Because we need to uh, not demonize them, but let them demonize themselves. Okay? This is, you, you look at this as a, a, a pure demon here. Demon in a dress. So we're going to, instead of us demonizing them and just talking about them endlessly, we're just going to turn on the camera and just... Let them demonize them damn, they damn selves. Let's see how they explain when the world gets to see all these reaction videos of them saying what they're saying and basically demonizing themselves. Let's see how you blame, turn that around and blame that on me. But it is what it is. All right, family, my MGTOW, my MGTOW family, my ferocious MGTOW family. I'm going to go on and get off now and uh, go hit the gym. Uh, 
I'm gonna leave the gym, go get me something probably to eat. Today is Sunday, so I'm gonna go out and treat myself to a really nice meal. It's a nice little vegan place not too far from here. So I'm gonna go down there, spend about 25, 30 bucks on a good vegan meal, and then I'm gonna grab my clothes, wash them, and see if I can catch up with my, my barber in the meantime, and then uh, get ready for work tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow I will be rolling. Uh, I am going to Alabama, Alabama. So I'll turn the camera on tomorrow and we will be talking uh, on my ride to Alabama. So you guys be safe. I love you guys. I hope you all are being good stewards of your health. I hope you all are working out. You hear I'm working out. Hope you guys are eating good and I uh, hope you, uh, and I wish you guys more money. Don't give it to strags like this. I right, peace and hair grease.